Hey guys, what's cracking? It is Kraken Nation, coach of the Boston Bishop, and today we are back with our Week 10 battle, actually I should say our Week 10 team builder, for our upcoming battle against the Syracuse Sylveons. Um, Entertainment, also known as Daniel, um, coach of the Syracuse Sylveons, is a great personal friend and a long, I've known him for a long time. Battling him is always a blast. Um, so, without further ado, you want to hop on the team. Um, seeing as how Dan always likes to prepare for things that he sees his opponents running in past games, I've been running re running special Victini a lot, so I really wanted to try doing a physical variant. So we are running Adamant Scarf Victini with physical moves, um, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, the really big thing about that physical special thing that is that v Victini will be able to beat Venusaur really easily if I prepare for the right one, and it'll be really difficult if I don't prepare for the right one. And with that in mind, I, um... Wanted to make sure that I had as much of an edge, I guess, as I could. Um, v Crate obviously hits super hard, so it's pretty hard for his team to switch into. Kind of gaming the strategy, like gaming the battle a little bit. I realized that Dan seems to only do well when he's in control of the match because he all has these very. He always drafts these teams that are very have limited switches to offensive Pokemon, um, and always rely on sacking. So basically, what I'm going to try to do is use some high pressure offense to force him to just keep um, taking hits. So that's where these tanks and these wall breakers and stuff come in handy. Um, things like Snorlax and Dragalitin takes up hits. Um, these Some of these Pokemon can hit really hard. So, anyway, so Victini is going to be able to put a lot of pressure on this team. Um, just honestly, there's not a lot of switch into a V-Create. Um, and then Bolt Strike uh, hits things like um, Mantine and uh, Moltres. And then U-Turn, obviously, with some pivoting action. <laughs> Next up, we got Agron, Stealth Rock, Metal Burst, Earthquake Toxic. Um, this is just a Spadef Agron. Sorry, I'm eating lunch. Um, basically, I wanted to bring a Rocker for sure. Break any potential sashes. I don't know if I wanted to run Toxic a whole lot, honestly. Um, if we open up my team builder, let me look at his team real quick. Um, oh. This is the wrong team. Let's open up the Syracuse Sylveons. If it ever loads. So just give it a sec. Um, it'll load up. There we go. Um, Basically, this thing can just help really help me out with Terrakion. Oh, sorry, it really help with Magnezone and Greninja. Um, we can take hits really easily and do a lot of damage back to, back to both of them. Um, Greninja was definitely a threat because of its potential um, to run either physical or special and its wide move pool. So it was definitely something I was wary of. Um, Agron also just serves as a rocker because you definitely want to run rocks against a team with something like Moltres or Mantine. Um, even Thunder Asterion, this pivoter that likes to come in and out and do a lot of damage when it does so. Um, he really wants to have rocks and pressure them. And then Toxic's basically just a pretty... Um, Agron is a Pokemon that can potentially lose a lot of momentum, and so Agron's nice because it can... Uh, well, Toxic's nice because I can get up Toxic on things like Mantine. I know he does run Heal Bell on Granbull and Lantern sometimes, so it's gonna, we're going to see what happens there. But Toxic can be nice. Um... <laughs> It's honestly one of those pretty safe moves to switch again, because there's not a lot of things in this team that are immune to it. Neither of these Pokemon wants to come into Aggron, or at least Magnezone might, but I have Earthquake and the Special Bulk. Next up, we've got Cresselia with just Moonblast, Psychic, Moonlight, Thunder Wave. Max Defensive lets us take a plus two Stone Edge from Terrakion, even an X-Scissor. And basically bring that sweep short if something goes off. Terrakion is definitely probably the most offensively threatening Pokemon on this team. And so this is basically a all no hold like way to stop it if it decides to go get a little too out of hand. Um So yeah, it can live a Stone Edge or an X Scissor at plus two life orb. Um Moonlight or Psychic, whatever I want to do from there. Um basically just that's its main role. I wanted to run Moonblast. Specifically for um, Greninja, because Greninja otherwise switches in really easily. Um, but Psychic lets me hit Venusaur as well, which could be cool. Next up, we've got Snorlax with Assault Vest. Counter Earthquake, Rock Slide, Facade. Um, so basically, Counter lets us take... Oops, sorry. Counter lets us take on some physical attacks. Um, 
specifically Thunder Starian, uh, with a potential um, superpower. It's something I wanted to be wary of. Rockside is lets us hit Moltres, and I have Thick Fat for Moltres. Rockside also lets us hit Mantine. Um, honestly, it might even hit Thunder Starian pretty hard. So it's worth calculating this. Um, I might not even need... Yeah, it does hit pretty hard, but not... Mm, I don't know. Hmm. I guess after rocks. Um, regardless, I feel pretty happy with the moveset that I do have. Um, because Rock Slide, Facade, and Earthquake really achieve really great coverage against everything on this team. Yeah, it's actually really, really good. Um, and again, Snorlax is a way to take on special variants of Greninja. Obviously losing a power-up punch, but that's fine. Thick Fat, let's take Fire Blast from Moltres really easily. Next up, we've got another Assault that's used to drag out. With Sludge Bomb, Draco Meteor, Dragon Bolt, Hidden Power Ground. This is another really big answer to a lot of these stronger physical attackers on this team. And as Dragalge also just has, with this moveset right here, Dragalge has no switching, <laughs> which is crazy. I am running enough speed EVs to outspeed. I believe it was Buffalant. Yeah, I'm running enough to outspeed speed creeping Buffalant. Um, it might honestly be worth throwing an extra few points in there to outspeed Min Speed Magnezone. Um... Yeah, we're going to outspeed Min Speed Magnezone as well, I think. Uh, we are really bulky on the special side. So, I don't need too much more. I already have a lot of bulk in other places. Um, yeah. Finally, we've got Scarf Tyrantrum. Um, sleep Talk is basically is pretty cool, but it's basically for Sleep Powdering Venusaur. Um, again, Tyrantrum will do... Um, Tyrantrum will do kind of the same job as Victini, just being a really good go-to mon to apply offensive pr pressure. Um, heads, what's, what I'm really relying on is just these fast wall-breaking moves. So, specifically V-Create and um, Head Smash. So these high power, high stab, like, strong moves will be able to pressure this team a lot. Because um, that always seems to be something that Dan struggles with when he plays against it, especially with his team this season. Um, regardless, wish me luck for the battle. I am very excited. Until then, I will see you guys later. Kraken Nation out.